We're back. Right, this is a good one. This week's question, why should you come to Liverpool Medical School? Ah! <laughs> you should. Best decision of my life. Best decision made for me by only being offered Liverpool. Same. Why should you come to Liverpool Medical School? It's really fun. <laughs> I think the course is good because there's right from the start, so many contact hours. You've got loads of different things going on. So you've got lectures, you've got small group teaching, this, that and everything else. You get clinical skills. I also think I quite like CBL at the time. Oh yeah. In first year, you're a bit like, what is going on? I don't know anything. Like it's really daunting, mm. like them picking you out for a question and like doing answering it in front of 30 people when you don't think you know what the answer is. But you actually learn so much more doing that, like the adrenaline. Character thing. building as um, well, isn't it? But I like how we do it here. You've got a bit of like small group teaching and a bit of lectures. And I feel like it builds really nicely instead of jumping around with like different cases. To me it makes a lot of sense, so I like the way that we learn mm. like that. Um, and clinical skills. Clinical so skills is really good and all the stuff that Lee does. Yeah, so, so, good. So, so good at teaching. Plug Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Love Justin. Right, one oh, thing nice. I would say is the fact you only have two exams at the end of the year. Oh. Oh yeah, and it's multiple you don't have to do Sick. any work. Well, you kind of do. But. You don't have to do any, any work. work now. No, but like you don't have to stress yourself out over Christmas like every other yeah, Christmas. You, yeah, you just it's enjoy cheap. your Christmas, you know. Yeah. Because you ain't going to get one in the yeah, future. Literally, literally. So I have a twin and she goes to Birmingham Medical School. So we used to always just talk about like our different experiences. I'd say they were more intense throughout the year than we were. So that they had an exam where they'd put a flag in like an anatomy portion mm. and you'd have to be like, yeah, okay, what vein yeah. is this? We didn't really get that. But we did get HARC. You can like, you were able to learn so much from that, but we didn't get tested like that. And I feel like that would mm. be a lot if we got tested like that. I don't know how I would have survived yeah. if we got tested like that. I like the fact that we just have exams at the end of the year. And even though they're really nerve wracking, you get through them, you really do. For how they do it, that everything all comes down to the summative at the end of the year suits me. Mm. I would prefer that than some universities. I think Manchester do it in blocks with the area of the body, so you'll have heart on December and then you won't touch heart again for the rest of the year. Whereas for us, it's everything wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, all the way, <laughs> all the way <laughs> in summer. So I feel like that suits me a lot more. And I think it depends what you like, but pro section, I feel like just made more sense for me. I feel like that's something yeah. people decide on when they want to apply for med school. Mm. Whether you mm. want to dissect or prosect. And I would say the anatomy sessions are prosection at Liverpool and they're really good. So that means you don't have to actually dissect the human body, which is really time consuming and you, they kind of do the labour intensive work for you. Liverpool is really well known for producing medical students that have really good communication skills. Um, we say we're notorious for really talking to our patients and I think some people say that when you're on the wards in F1, that really starts to show. Um, and it's not as studies and academically focused maybe as other universities, it's more about comm skills. Mm. Um, I really like the course because it's quite patient based. I feel like we get a lot of teaching about how to actually talk to people as opposed to just learning the science behind things. And I'm more of a people person than uh, we sit do in the library well. and revise and revise and revise. So mm. I think for me, it works really well because I learn better from seeing things. Yeah. yeah, that communication is a big thing for me in medicine and being able to communicate well I think is so important and I feel like Liverpool really home in on this and make people that can communicate well to the patients because ultimately I think that way you get more, more out of your patients and they feel like they can communicate with you and you have a bit of a rapport that you can build with them and I feel like Liverpool do really focus on this really well. The way that our course is structured it really does prepare you for being an F1 mm. and you get that feedback on the wards they say especially as now in fifth year, are we, the doctors say we think it's great that you have so much exposure on the walls. Yeah, they, they say Liverpool grads make really good F1s. Yeah. And obviously F1 isn't the end goal, but if you're in a position where you feel comfortable doing all those skills on the ward and you, know, you feel comfortable talking to patients, 
then the rest of it will come yeah. afterwards, I think. And then you get into hospitals in second year, which is really early to actually get into hospitals, which is great. I like that you get on placement early as yeah. well in Liverpool. I think Liverpool's known to sort of throwing you in and it's a good thing because you get to see more and you get to learn on the communication side of things more. Like in Liverpool there's a big focus on communication and we do a lot to learn how to, not just to treat patients mm -hmm. but how to speak to them and how to make them feel comfortable which is important. So Yeah that is good. You get a lot of teaching on talking to patients, like breaking news, asking histories and it really does help. I think it definitely makes you more confident when you go on to placement. Starting placement early is one of the best best things you can do. Yeah. We get quite early contact with like a clinical yeah, environment yeah. as well. So as daunting as it is, and even though we're on placement and we don't know anything because we're <laughs> learning the science alongside it, we're kind of seeing how things fit together at an earlier stage, which yeah. I think makes you more confident in the long run. I definitely think it helps in the long run. Yeah. Because ultimately that's where you're gonna be. You're gonna be in the hospital or yeah. in the GV practice wherever. And yeah, second year is kind of awkward and you don't know what's happening on the wards. But that means when you do go into full-time placement in third year, you can just crack on. I think what I've heard is Liverpool have got some of the most like, on it clinical doctors out there. Yeah. We have we experience medicine in hospitals from, such a, from second year. Mm -hmm. And we have such intense placements from third, fourth. And we do all our rotations pretty early on. Like, yeah. yeah. We get like an experience of a lot of things early on, so I think that's probably the best thing about the course. Yeah. You have to go in at some point, and whether that's in second, third, or fourth year, you're going to feel awkward the first time you go yeah. in. So it's really good to get that out of the way early, and then you can really focus when you're in there full time. And I know, like personally, I learn things better in teaching from a doctor on the ward, or yeah. you know, as part of the ward round, or or go and examine this patient. I learn quite well from seeing things and yeah. I feel like if you go to a uni where you don't get clinical placement until quite late on um, and you're not that kind of learner you could probably struggle quite a bit. Yeah, And you just don't interact with patients as well, you don't know how to respond when someone mm. tells you something that's quite shocking mm. or if you, you have to like watch someone be given bad news, what, yeah. what do you say to like that yeah. person, you know? So I think. I think it's a better learning experience. I don't know how long can you sit and look at a textbook. Yeah. Like go go out and see. It. Yeah, it's definitely good to do both. I'm so happy with how we, how early we started placement. Yeah, definitely. And placement teaches you to think on your toes as well. It, yeah. Because it's all well and good being able to like you know tick a multiple choice answer, but when you're on that ward round and this consultant is grilling <laughs> you about this, and a you get comfortable with not knowing things, um, yeah. which is fine and B, you learn to apply it practically, which is such an important skill, and it makes things interesting as well. Yeah, I'm finding that is ultimately the best way of learning, actually seeing it on the job. Just makes it a lot a lot more easier for me personally to then learn the stuff when I've got a bit of context and background to put it to. And I do think there's only so much learning from a book that you can do, you need to apply it, and you're never gonna sit with a patient and spew out loads of facts about yeah. the human body you're going to be talking to them as like a human yeah and that experience you can only really get from placement so yeah i really like having early patient contact the hospitals are really good for medicine mm -hmm. so you've got like older hay for the children so you've got liverpool women's so you've got the obstetrics and gynecology you can really get involved there and you'll see like babies you'll see births should you want to yeah it's brilliant and the, and the doctors there are fabulous like they'll teach yeah. you whatever you know older hay is a big Big deal. They're always on TV. Great hospital. Hayes Children's Hospital. One of the most famous children's hospitals in the world. Wiston. Walton Centre. Mm. That's probably one of the best ones in the country for neuro. One of the only ones, I think there's maybe two or three neuro specialists and you'll meet some of those brilliant doctors you'll ever meet. Yeah. They're weird. Weird brilliant. brilliant. Arrow Park. Entry. Southport. Broad Green. Liverpool Heart and Chest. So it's really specialised. So you see like all the normal stuff and then you do also get to see some of the like weird and wonderful. It's got all these like specialty hospitals in like a very small radius. Blackpool. Ormskirk. Specialist centres that really do have some cool specialities there that you wouldn't experience in some of the other places around the country. Uh, so that was, that was the main thing that drew me. Warrington. <laughs> Loads of GP practices all over the place. Yeah. Even in North Wales. North Wales. Places yeah. for psychiatry as well. Yeah, all over the gap. The hospitals are all really, really yeah. commutable, which yeah. is something I never even thought of before medical school, but actually is something I would say or look into 
where your medical school is, where you live and where they expect you to be able to get to. Because yeah. if you don't have a car, I mean, I've never had a car in medical school and I've never had an issue getting to or from placement, yeah. which I think is something you don't think about before you come. Yeah. Um, Honestly, the clinical experience here yeah. is really the best bit about this. Creme de la creme. Yeah, honestly. And you, you end up being more comfortable in hospital. Like, I would be comfortable tomorrow if someone said, right, you're starting clinical placement again tomorrow. I'd be comfortable putting my scrubs on, walking to the hospital and, and talking to doctors, yeah. talking to patients right now. And I feel like it's best to get that experience early on because I don't feel we've lacked on any other education. Yeah, and yeah. we have some of the best clinical experiences you'll ever get. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. The clinical experience that we have here is brilliant. I don't know what it is, but when I meet a Liverpool grad, I just feel like you get a connection. Energy. Such good energy, <laughs> such good vibes. Good vibes. And they get you and you get them. There's just a bit of a chilledness about Liverpool Medics. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. It's brilliant how many different people you meet because yeah. I've heard at other universities, like Southern Unis, most people will be from down south. In around London, yeah. In around London. But in Liverpool, I think you get the best mix of people. Everywhere. The med school is really good because everyone's, in my opinion, they're, they're a lot more diverse than the students that you find at other. Liverpool Med School is probably a lot better for like not just getting students in that are all about academia. Mm. Like everyone's a lot more rounded, like the societies that they put on like enable you to enhance like different skills and things like that. And that could be something to do with medical stuff in particular, but it could also be stuff like musical theatre and um, sports and all these different things, which is really good. And I've only discovered this this year, like being on med Twitter, <laughs> like when they talk about sort of London unis and like what the atmosphere is like in terms of competitiveness and stuff like that. And I've just never felt that here. No. Like I feel like everyone is sort of on the same page and they're like, it's never, you know, get to the top by tearing someone else down. No. I feel like it's like, oh, we're all support each other, let's revise yeah. together. Oh, I've got a really good resource, do you want it? Like, I feel yeah, like you so do. Yeah, so good for that. Yeah. And every year group helps each other, mm. really informally, but there's just so much help from every year group. And I don't know if we're a small medical school or not, about 300 not even, in the year, but it feels small. Like I does. feel like I know so many people in different years. You see someone in grey scrubs and <laughs> with the logo on it, you just want to say hi to them. Yeah. And I genuinely believe that it's way more friendly and a, than any other medical yeah. school. I don't know and Whether why. that's a Liverpool thing or a Northern thing or a west coast thing mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it, it is just really friendly and the people mm -hmm. generally in liverpool are class anyway i think we're quite a fun medical school yeah like we do like balls every year there's so much going on all the time it's not a small university there's always something going on there's loads of different events to help you get to know people there's all the different types of sports you can do through the medical school so yeah i'd say it's quite fun it's there's a lot of all work. communication with other years which is quite helpful they do lots of events where like second years teach first years and third years teach second years and you get you get a uni mentor and you also get a society LMSS mentor so already that's two contacts in the year above that you know and can go to so it's quite nice that everybody's all linked together. I would actually say like the society at Liverpool is probably one of the best it's got its problems and like everything says. like the world does but <laughs> i actually think you do actually socialize a lot more with medics than at other universities yeah through it as a medical school i feel like we all like you just become a part of it and you go yes. to so many events like the medical school get to know everyone put on so many events compared to like birmingham they have like mm. one ball a year mm. we've got so many different things that we can go to just so you can make so many different friends because you really can't go through medical school alone you just can't you need friends to rely on um you need like people to talk to because no one really understands what you're going through apart from medical students yeah N not even like people like above and below <laughs> you they can like give you advice but people in your year group you just need to like lean on them and mm. you just need to like sometimes you just need to have a chat with them just because you'd freak out otherwise you just can't go through it alone <laughs>